Well, good night, everyone. Tonight, I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Tonight, you know, it's a special night for me again, getting this opportunity to minister and to bring forth the Word of God to you all tonight. So I welcome everybody tonight, all our visitors, you know, our TRC family, and all first-timers, we welcome you tonight. Even I want to, you know, give thanks to, to my senior pastors, Pastor Gerald Samaru and Pastor Susan, you know, for giving me this opportunity tonight, you know, to, to bring forth the word. All right? Let us pray tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight. God, I give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory tonight. I thank you, God, for this is the day that you have made, Father. And Father, today, I acknowledge that you are God and there is none beside you. All praise and all honor and glory belongs to you tonight. So Father, I thank you. I thank you, O oh God, for tonight, dear Lord, that God, that you would help me to put away self and let your spirit take in full control tonight, Father. I give you praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Tonight, I just, you know, it's an opportunity, a great opportunity again for me, as I said, to bring forth the Word of God tonight. The Word of God is, you know, is taken from Acts chapter 3. A very familiar topic, you know, or, or verses that everybody is aware of. Alright, so I'm going to read tonight. If you have your Bibles, you can follow. Acts chapter 3, with verse 1, we'll start from. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his <clears throat> mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask arms of them that enter into the temple. Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, ask an arm. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And, he's, and he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. And Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight, you, you, we, a little bit we're going to talk about, you know, about on this topic tonight, you know, that, that you know, that um, this man... This lame man, you know, from his mother's womb, you know, that all these years that he, that is what he was, just lame. And couldn't help himself. So he decided, they decided, or oh, it was a, a custom thing back in, in the days where the Jews, they, you know, as you, we would say, like the beggar man or stuff like that, you know, and go out and, you know, they would, the Jews will give. You know, it, it's, it's something that they, they, you know, the praise about. So this man, that daily that they would carry this man by this gate. The gate, you know, that is called, you know, beautiful. It was one of the most popular gate in the temple. Where majority of the people will enter through that gate. So it was a good spot, if so to speak, for him tonight. You know, because... When you are in that position, you, you know, you, you decide that, you know, that when you go out there, is that all you could, you know, receive, I mean, is, is, is better for you. But, you know, that we see that, you know, that Peter and John, at that time, the Bible said that they were, you know, entering in the temple for prayer in the, in the afternoon time. It was, a, you know, the evening prayer. And here... Who Peter and John could see that this man sitting by the gate. Now, if we understand that, the, the, you know, that Peter and John, they, 
they had this, the, you know, the, the, a mission because of the calling and that they have upon their life. You see, if we turn in the book of Acts in chapter, in chapter 1 in verse 8, you will see the Bible say, But he shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be the witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in the Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. So these fellows was, you know, because of the, the power of God that was in them. You know, they know what they had in them. All right? It's not about finances. In this case, this man was expecting finances. But sometimes, you know, that we got to take our mind off finances. You know, because Jesus, who is our provider, our Jehovah God, he is well able to provide all our needs. But here, this day that this man didn't realize that, you know, that, that it was a life-changing moment for him. All right? Now, we are in this, this, this season, the, in the season that we are going where, you know, with COVID-19, the, the, the world is in a pandemic, and, and everybody is, you know, is just like, you know, like thinking about what's going to happen and, you know, like expecting something, you know, to happen that some cure will come very soon and everything will get back into normal, right? I am sure if I ask the question, you know, tonight that how many of us, you know, feel like this lame man tonight? You see, because we are locked down in our home, not, not much of us could be going out and those who are really going out is those who really have to work and stuff like that. But you know that, the way that we are living right now, that is that if we are lame, we cannot, you know, you know, express the way we, 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 we was, you know, we used to, we are custom. And that's how, that's how we are, you know, today. And many times uh, this enter and, you know, it, it brings us sort of a, you know, like a, make us feel that, you know, that we discourage and we cannot, you know, move from where we are. But I want to tell you something tonight. That in the midst of all this, in the midst of all this was happening, even to this man, you know, that this man that when he was, you know, waiting, you know, with his arms stretched out and looking forward to see that, you know, all that he can receive tonight. Hear what happened. There, you know, it's a changing moment. Hallelujah. Tonight I say that, you know, there is changing moments in our life tonight. All right? There is changing moments. Don't give up tonight. There is a time. There is a season for everything. This COVID-19 has a season. It's going to end. And you know that we got to stay the course and keep our eyes. Last week, you know, in our message, you know that keep your eyes on Jesus. It, you know, this thing is, is, is causing a distraction on believers tonight. And here we are, you know, this man, as he there, you know, expecting to receive finances, not knowing that in the midst of it, it's a changing moment for him. So we see that, you know, as, as Peter fastened his eyes upon him, you know, fastened his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. Hallelujah. And, you know, you know, it's, it's where he take, Peter, you know, they take an authority here because they know that what the, what the God they serve can do for this man. Hallelujah. And Peter said to this man, he said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give unto thee. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. I want to tell you something tonight. Many of us may be in our home right now. We are feeling so dumb. You know, we are feeling, you know, some of us feel like this lame man right now. And we feel that, you know, that the, 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 everything is coming down at us. I, I can tell you, I'm a father. You know, I have a house. I have children to, to take care. And so many times, sometimes, uh, you know, difficulty times come up in this, in this pandemic here. But yet still, you know, God has always been our source. God has always been our provider. God has always shown up in, in the right time. 
Hallelujah. Just as God is showing up in the right time for this lame man tonight. Hallelujah. God, you know, he didn't forget none of us. He cares about us. The Bible said that he cares with an everlasting love tonight. That if you, you know, so love him that, and he said, that, cast all your cares upon him. You see, he, God knows tonight. Hallelujah. Many times we go before God and we go with, with little problems. Hallelujah. You know, problems that, you know, that God can solve. But you see, this God I'm talking about tonight is not, you know, interested in the little problems. God is interested in a whole life-changing moment for you tonight. You see, he, God, can solve everything tonight. Nothing is too difficult for this God tonight. It doesn't matter how, how long that you are in a situation like this man. The Bible says that this man, you know, from his mother's womb, that this man was like that. Every day, is, you know, it was something that they will, you know, they will do. They would take him and put him down there. That was his lifestyle. He himself probably, you know, lose courage and give up and say, it has no hope again for me. Hallelujah. You know, but little that he know that it was, it was a life-changing moment for him. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you tonight. I want to encourage you tonight that if you are in a situation tonight, I want to tell you something, that God can change that situation tonight. God can bring about healing to your body tonight. You see, many times we expect, we expect something that, you know, that we want. But I want to tell you something, the God that I'm telling you about tonight is the God knows our needs tonight. He will supply your needs tonight. He, he, he loves you tonight. It is nothing that you can do can change the love that he has for you tonight. So he is going to supply all your needs tonight. For the Bible says in the book of Matthew, in chapter 6 and verse 8, you know, even before we think about it, he knows our need tonight. This God is amazing tonight. Hallelujah. I encourage you tonight. I encourage you tonight to choose this God today. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. So here Peter and, 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 you know, Peter and John, hallelujah. You know, I mean, finance, that wasn't the thing. They wanted to, you know, to accomplish the task, you know, to, that, they, that they were called to do, to go around and to preach the gospel, you know, to, to heal the sick and, you know, to, to bring deliverance, oh God, to the people. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, as we say, you know, that the power of God has been given unto them. Hallelujah. So, I am, you know, I'm, I'm excited because, you know, I'm seeing that, you know, that the power of God, is, you know, is, is here now, you know, coming, you know, showing up right now. So that the people that are wrong would see that the God that they were talking about. Hallelujah. So, you know, he said that, you know, silver and gold have I not. But such as I have, I give unto thee. Rise up and walk in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. There is power in that name tonight. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But let's go on a little bit. But when Peter and John, hallelujah, didn't just, you know, say that, you know, that, um, okay, rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. What they did, they extend, the Bible said that, and he took his right hand, you know, and lift him up. Hallelujah. Praise the name. Faith in action tonight. Hallelujah. We are seeing that, you know, that, that it's important to put our faith in action. Hallelujah. I'm seeing, you know, and I'm having so many conversations with believers, you know, in this season and in this time that we are going. And believers are losing faith. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you tonight. Don't take your eyes away from the King of King and the Lord of Lords tonight. Keep your eyes upon Jesus. Jesus is our only hope tonight. He is our way maker tonight. He is the one that, you know, can bring healing to your body instantly tonight. Just as what the power of God is, to, you know, is showing and talking about in these verses here tonight. Hallelujah. You know, Peter stretched forth his hand. Hallelujah. And, you know, 
and lift the man. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm excited tonight. Imagine to see, oh God, you know that when, when that hand probably lifted up and this man who was laid down for so many years, hallelujah, never thought or never had hope that one day that he'll be able to walk again. Hallelujah. And here comes this man. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus to rise up and walk. The Bible said that the moment that he sat lifting up his hand that oh Lord that life came unto him that his feet and his ankle you know receive strength tonight hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I want to tell you something tonight when you give Jesus a chance in your life hallelujah oh glory to God you know and you set apart and you allowed him to take full control of the situation tonight my God tonight I tell you something that the power of God will come upon you and bring healing to your body you know bring salvation to your family oh deliverance for God in your home hallelujah he open up the door of heaven and out his anointing hallelujah upon his children tonight hallelujah because God cares about you tonight hallelujah God doesn't care about small problems God cares about all the problems in your life he cares about the big ones hallelujah God wants to bring about a change in your life all you gotta do is to surrender to him tonight hallelujah the Bible said that this man hallelujah oh Lord when people when, when Peter said, look unto us, uh, this man didn't hesitate. Uh, this man didn't say, you know, what you're talking about. Uh, because I'll tell you something. Hallelujah. For all these years, this man sat down. Uh, you know, probably nothing could have changed, you know, his heart uh, and his mind. But I want to tell you something. When the presence of God is in the atmosphere, hallelujah, changes begun to take place. Uh, hallelujah. The atmosphere begun to change hallelujah and the word and the anointed of God starts to penetrate upon the souls of men hallelujah and that's why the man hallelujah the Bible say and he gave heed that heed you're talking about is the attention he gave attention to what Peter and you know and John was telling him at that time how he could have turned away he could have changed you know say what are you talking about hallelujah but this man paid attention. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. There are some times we got to stop. We got to stop and we got to focus tonight. We got to keep our eyes upon him tonight, Jesus. Pay attention is what he is saying tonight. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you tonight that Jesus Christ is Lord tonight. Hallelujah. What he did for me, he can do it for you tonight. Hallelujah. You know, he had bring about a change in my life. Hallelujah. He have healed me so many times. Praise the name of Jesus. So what I'm, what I'm saying here tonight is not indifferent that what he has done for me. I want to tell you something. He can do it for you. You are watching this tonight. I know that some, something, you know, is tickling you right now in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allow God to come in and bring that change in you right now. Praise the name. What he has done for this lame man, he want to do it for you too. He want to, you know, you know, save you. He want to heal you. He want to open up doors for you. He want to fix your marriage. He want to fix your home. Hallelujah. He want to bless you with a good job. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Because Jesus is interested in you tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God knows your need tonight. Praise the name. Much as you, 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 you think, but God knows. He knows. You see, this man, hallelujah, praise the name. He didn't know that this day was going to come upon him today. He didn't know that this day would have been a changing day for him. And that's with all of us. All of us are right now. I want to tell you something. In this time, this season of, of our life that we are going through right now, I want to tell you something. It's, it's really, it's, it's, it's getting, this, feeling, making you feel discouraged. We are losing, people are losing hope. People losing jobs. People, you know, finances. Today, I just take a little drive down. I was to go to Port of Spain. You know, and I stopped by the gas station. There's a new little mall open there. So many little stores have been closing down because maybe people cannot reach their rent. Nobody's going out to buy. People are getting frustrated. 
But I'm telling you tonight, hallelujah, there is hope in Jesus. There is hope in Jesus tonight. Put your trust in him. Put like this man put his trust. Hallelujah. Because I tell you something, when Jesus is on the scene, hallelujah, praise the Lord, things happen. Changes begun to take place. Hallelujah. Changes begun to take place in immediately when Jesus is on the scene. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight I want to encourage you tonight. I want to encourage you to put your trust in Jesus. This man may be lose hope. Hallelujah. But as the word said, rise up. Rise up in the name of Jesus. You know, shake up yourself. Hallelujah. You see, when, when the power of God, you know, transform into this man, the Bible said that what? The feet and the ankle, you know, the boat, they receive strength. Hallelujah. And that is with God. God's want to bring, God wants to bring a revival into your life tonight. Hallelujah. He wants to bring about a change in your, in your hearts tonight. Praise the name. He's our only hope tonight. We cannot lose hope tonight about what's going right or wrong. It's the word of God. You know, it's prophetic word. These things will come to pass. We as believers ought to watch now, occupy ourselves, and, you know, get ourselves in a time of prayer. Keep focused. Make sure. Make sure that, you know, that our life is right. You know, figure it out every day. Go before God. Ask God if there's anything that is in me, you know, that will hinder me from making it. Now is the time to, you know, to, to go before God. Because nobody knows the hour and the time when the Son of Man will make his appearance. Hallelujah. And as we look around today, we are seeing so many of the, of, you know, of signs of the end times. Hallelujah. So that's why I want to tell you, make your election sure tonight. Hallelujah. Because tomorrow is not yours. Hallelujah. This man could have turned away, this lame man. But hallelujah, he give heed tonight. He pay attention. He listen to the man of God tonight. Hallelujah. He listened to the man of God tonight. The Bible said that, you know, that even Noah, you know, for 120 years, coming up, ministering to the people, telling them, you know, turn from their wicked ways and turn, turn towards God. But nobody would take him on. They you know all kind of thing they would say about this man. But, you know, when the door shut, it was too late. Hallelujah. He couldn't open the door. No one didn't have the, the, the power to open that because God is the one who shut the door. I want to tell you something. Time is clicking. Time is running out. And, and you have time as you sit today and you watch this. You can make, you know, Jesus can make a change in your life right now. Right where you are tonight. I want to tell you something. That you can accept Jesus. You can accept Jesus tonight. You can give him a chance in your life. You can call upon him. You know, you don't have to have a, you know, a, a degree or, 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 you know, a master's or, or, or eight O levels or whatever the case may be. You can call upon him because he is right there, right next to you tonight. All he's waiting for you, he's knocking at your heart door. Praise the name of Jesus. He wants to, you know, for you to experience the same experience that this lame man has received. Hallelujah. Praise the name. This lame man has received that, 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 uh, that experience of the anointing and the power and healing of God. He wants that because he said, for God so loved the world. Hallelujah. He loved all of you tonight. Nobody is exempted tonight. Every one of you, Jesus loves you tonight. And I encourage you tonight to put your trust into Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your trust. He's our only hope tonight. I encourage you tonight that Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer tonight. This man put his trust in Jesus. For all his years, he was just sitting there. Had no, no, no hope that, you know, when, when this, that day would come. And yet still, the day had come for him. And Jesus made a way for him. Hallelujah. And Jesus can make a way for you tonight. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God tonight. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you tonight. Hallelujah. Let's bow our head and close our eyes tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I know that tonight that your word has gone forth tonight. Hallelujah. 
and your word has Lord ministered tonight and it has touched the heart of your people tonight father we know that God that Lord nothing is too difficult for you tonight and I pray tonight that father that somebody would call somebody would click to that prayer request uh, and somebody would call and said you know they want to accept Jesus tonight uh, hallelujah somebody oh God um, father because I know that God that you care for that somebody tonight you care for everyone but that somebody tonight who is going through that pain tonight uh, who didn't who know know where to turn to tonight and tonight they have received, you know have heard your word tonight and they want to put their trust into you tonight so father i thank you tonight i give you all the praise all honor and all glory tonight and i pray that god that your will continue to be done tonight in jesus name god have your way tonight have your way in jesus name amen and amen tonight praise the lord